As we entered the final phase of the editing of Apocalypse Now and began to prepare for its release, there began to be a lot of controversy about the film. It was long in coming. It uh, was, of course, a very mysterious film uh, to the press because they really hadn't seen anything of it. But most of all, there began to be this issue that there were, in fact, two endings to Apocalypse Now, which was really not the case. What I think gave this, uh, this impression was the fact that when you edit, of course, you try many options and you preview the film with many options. One of the options we did have was the explosion of the Kurtz compound. We had built quite a formidable structure there in the Philippines, but it was not built to be a permanent uh, structure, and so we were required by law to remove it. Of course, we thought, well, let's blow it up and photograph it. We can photograph it with many cameras. We could use some cameras with infrared films, and that maybe we would get something very interesting, certainly very surrealistic. And so, uh, obligated to remove the compound, we set up to uh, blow it up would take a lot of explosives and there would be a lot of cameras and that perhaps this footage might be useful in the film. The ending of the film turned on really Willard becoming the new Kurtz and I very much wanted to put my own vision about the future that once one gets beyond war, beyond this extraordinary uh, conflict that happened in modern times, that perhaps there would be a future without war. And so I wanted Willard to throw away his weapons and have the Montagnard followers throw them away as well, and have him take uh, the young uh, Lance by the hand and lead him maybe to a new age. And so the idea of him calling in the airstrike which would in fact kill all those people, seemed to me wrong uh, for the theme I was trying to express. but we did have this footage. Now when the film Apocalypse Now was released in its original format, which was 70 millimeter, there was no main title and there were no end titles. And so the film ended, the people had been given a program and that was the end. But when the film was about to have its normal 35 millimeter release, the idea of giving programs was no longer feasible. And uh, perhaps I made the mistake that at the end we would have a normal credit sequence uh, with these explosions but the appearance of these prints uh, in general release seemed to reinforce the idea that perhaps there really were two options for the, uh, for the ending and, and that the explosions of the Kurtz compound uh, really supported the idea that there was another uh, more warlike apocalyptic uh, ending, which was not really my intention. So as soon as I realized that this uh, 35 millimeter credit sequence over the explosions was uh, supporting this view, I pulled it back and I created a title sequence just over black. Again, I remind everyone that the film had no credits in the form that I had imagined and only a program. So we have this uh, Kurtz compound uh, sequence, a surreal sequence of it being blown up with many, many cameras 
many different uh, formats of film and we present it here as an extra and uh, I ask you to consider it as something of its own and not, uh, not certainly an alternate ending.